Hello, my name is Garrett Swindell. I'm one of the product engineers here at Black Box Corporation. What I'd like to do today is introduce you to one of our newer enterprise digital KVM solutions that can be used in applications such as pre and post production, TV studios, graphic design, command and control. Without further ado, we will begin covering the application of the SurfSwitch DKM FX chassis, the basic layout of the chassis, and how we can integrate it into our application. The SurfSwitch DKM FX chassis offers many types of modular parts and components, which will allow you to design it in such a way that it will meet every single need for your application. First off, let's cover some of the components that we can install in the main central system. If you're looking at the chassis, there's options depending on which model you're looking at. Currently, we have the 48 port, the 80 port, the 160 port and the 288 port model available. The 48 and the 80 port chassis will allow you to support redundant power supplies up to two maximum. If you go with the 160 or the 288 port, you can use up to three redundant power supplies. This will allow you to have redundant power input or if you prefer separate mains coming in, you can use that instead in case one power input goes bad. The next card we're going to cover is the control card. The control card is a one of a kind in each chassis. It will allow you as the admin to configure and manage your switch locally at the chassis location. The next cards we're going to cover are the I.O. cards. Each card option can either be a CAD X model with eight RJ45s or you could have eight fiber SFPs which will support both multi-mode and single mode fiber. Every I.O. card can support either eight inputs or eight outputs, either leading to a computer or leading to a user. The I.O. cards, whether they're copper or fiber, are completely agnostic. This means that you can plug in seven inputs and one output for a user. If you prefer to split it 50-50, you can plug in four computers and four users. So it doesn't really matter what you plug into any port. If you were by chance to hot plug the cables in an I.O. card, the user will follow the target. The SurfSwitch DKMFX also has two different styles of transmitters and receivers. The first style is the compact version. The compact version will be able to cover almost 85 to 90 percent of your needs. We offer different variants such as single head DVI, dual head DVI, USB HID for keyboard and mouse, and basic audio. If your application requires any type of other installation such as tri head video or quad head video with RS-232 or digital or analog audio support with RS-232, well then you'd want to go with one of the modular transmitters and receivers which can easily be configured here at Black Box prior to shipment to your site. With these modules you can easily integrate unique systems that you never thought could be integrated before. Let's briefly cover some of the features and functionality of the SurfSwitch DKMFX. Me as a user sitting at a user station can switch targets or switch computers almost instantly. As you see, I am switching target computers as we speak. Going from computer one, to computer two, to computer three, and then back to computer one. The switches I'm making here are instantaneous. Typically in most applications, users can't afford to be waiting to access a computer. Especially in a command and control center, where an admin, if he needs to access a server, he needs to access it now, not five seconds from now so he can easily switch targets. If the user would like to use a macro setup where he could press one of the function keys on the top of the keyboard, he can switch up to 12 or 16 receiver units at a time. This way, if you're sitting in a command and control center and you want to switch 16 monitors on the wall, you could press one button and instantly all of the monitors, all of the monitors will switch over. 
You as the administrator have full control over your SurfSwitch DKMFX solution. There are several different ways you can gain this control. The first way is a Java application tool. The Java applet can be downloaded on a Windows or a Mac based OS. The tool will allow an administrator to come in and control every single receiver and every single target on his system. You'll notice there's a monitor sitting next to me over here. If I'd like to gain control of that system or if I wanted to switch the video or current computer that it's on, I can use this Java application tool and change that port easily. Once I change it, I can accept the changes and voila, the receiver has changed targets. If I am locally at a user station and I do not prefer to use the Java application tool to switch computer or targets, I can use the OSD or hotkey. The hotkey sequence is easily performed by a user pressing shift shift I port number enter. Since I'm already on computer one, the computer wouldn't change. However, now I'm on computer two. If I prefer to switch via an OSD to get a list of computers or targets that I can access, I can use the hotkey shift shift O. Once I'm in the OSD, I can use my arrow keys, select the target, press enter, and connect instantly up to one of the targets or computers. If you prefer RS-232 or serial switching via the control card on the matrix switch, you can do that as well. So this covers the SurfSwitch DKMFX solution. The solution is a very modular system, yet simple solution. It's a very reliable and dependent solution that has options for redundancy and backup. If you ever run into one of these situations where you'd like to look or get a demo of our SurfSwitch DKMFX, give us a call. You can call our tech support or visit us at www.blackbox.com. Thank you.